Everybody, Jim here. Welcome back for another video. Today, uh, I am in the neighborhood of Shimbashi here in Tokyo, uh, directly next to Shimbashi Station on a very uh, bright, uh, beautiful day. So what better time than now uh, to go inside and play some video games. So directly behind me is the new Shimbashi building. It's li literally directly next to Shimbashi Station. And from my understanding, inside there's not one, but two retro game arcades, which uh, is right up my alley. That's right today, it's double your arcades, double your fun on Mad Panda Gaming. So let's get inside the new Shimbashi building and see what they got, let's go. It's red, not going yet, it's red. Japan, 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 Japan. Round one. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, so uh, now we're on the second floor of the new Shimbashi building, and directly behind me is Game in Rido. It says part one. I don't know that there's a part two. Uh, just at first glance, though, it looks pretty cool. They got a lot of candy cabs and other stuff in there. Uh, I do have to say, though, I was not expecting um, a lot of massage parlors on this floor as well. I don't know what the hell that's about, but we kind of had to go through like a little bit of a gauntlet of massage ladies, sort of like deflecting them uh, before we could get to the arcade. So just keep that in mind if you come to a uh, game in Rito, you might have to, you know, turn down a few massages or, you know, accept a massage. I don't know. That, that's up to you. That's your business. Anyway, game in Rito. Let's check it out. Let's go play some games. Here we go. So uh, game in Rito, uh, first impressions, this is like the definition of a retro arcade, even like the lighting and everything has like a really old feel to it. There are even like old paintings and stuff on the wall, which is kind of odd. You'd expect like video game posters or something like that, but instead it's like paintings of mountains and trees and stuff. Um, they have a variety of games in here. They're a mix. Some of them are 100 yen, some of them are 50 yen, but they're all retro. And uh, looks like there's a lot of fun stuff to play up here, so let's do exactly that. Check out this kick-ass gameplay footage. So game in Rito, um, it's pretty cool. They have some decent games here, a couple of fighting games, some shoot 'em ups, uh, puzzle games, things like that. 
Uh, one thing to note though is that there are like a lot of mahjong and like other kind of like tile games in here, uh, which I have like absolutely no familiarity with at all. I would say this place is about like 50% mahjong. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're going to come here to play some games, maybe you're in the area, you're in Shimbashi, you want to check out this little arcade, uh, just bear that in mind. There's a lot of mahjong and a lot of like older fellows sitting around playing mahjong games where you, you strip the clothes off of ladies after you win a hand of mahjong. Uh, anyway, uh, this is pretty cool, um, but uh, I do believe there's one more stop for us today. But wait, there's more. Any normal person would want to beat the machine. <laughs> and you come back? Oh, sure. Again? Oh, sure. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we find ourselves uh, in the basement of the new Shimbashi building. Oddly enough, the basement, not nearly as shady as the second floor was. Usually you'd expect the basement to be kind of trashy. Um, everything here is kind of shuttered though, which is weird, but this place is open up. This is called uh, Amusement Space Diana. Uh, not a retro arcade, in fact. It looks like there's a lot more modern stuff in here. A lot of like Gundam and maybe some Tekken, Virtua Fighter, whatever the case may be. And a much younger crowd down here too. So uh, yeah, let's check out uh, Amusement Diana and see uh, what kind of games they got. Let's do it. All right, so that's Amusement Space Diana, as you just saw. Um, not a retro arcade at all. It's mostly Gundam Extreme, which is a pretty popular game. Uh, with a little bit of Tekken thrown into the mix, a couple of other various things. Um, it feels like uh, the guys playing here, it's, it's kind of like a usual crowd kind of thing, a lot of locals. It was funny, there were even signs saying, uh, don't bash your fists on the cabinets and don't shout or things like that. Uh, so I guess it gets pretty heated in there sometimes. Uh, also, this is a place where smoking is allowed. There are ashtrays with the cabinets. Um, so if you can't tolerate cigarette smoke at all, uh, you're probably going to want to skip this one. But if you want to come sit down and like play some Gundam Extreme, some Tekken, maybe get the feel of like a lively local arcade here in Tokyo, uh, Diana is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. We took a look at two arcades, one retro, one not so much. Uh, lots of cigarette smoke, lots of massage women and lots of shutters and, and creepy stuff. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. I'm not really selling you on this place, am I? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mad Panic Gaming. I'm Jim, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.